Hi viewers, this is Jad Abdullah and you are watching my tutorial series MS Excel Functions and Formulas with Projects and Assignments. The topic of this tutorial is to uh, see how to uh, how we can type and edit data in Microsoft Excel. We have created a sample worksheet in front of you. We have uh, named it as, as a result sheet. You can see that uh, this is about some subjects uh, like English, Urdu, Physics, Chemistry, their maximum marks, maximum lectures, and the total marks, and then marks obtained by the students, total lectures at, uh, delivered by the lectures, and lectures attended by the students. Here we can type student name, student roll number. We will learn in this uh, tutorial how to create a result sheet like this, how we can type and edit data in Excel. We will uh, try to create a worksheet like this. So I am creating a new sheet. Here you can see we have got a blank worksheet. We will uh, create the same worksheet here is new in new sheet. First of all, I am typing this Demo Institute Lahore in the first cell. This font size and font style and the placement of this text we will see later. First of all, we will uh, type all of this data. Uh, we will write the summer test in the second line. Now we will left a row blank here. So we will move to row number four and type row number. In the next cell, type student name. Uh, now we have some complex things here. You can see uh, here we have to write subjects in this row and then in next row we have to write the names of the subjects and in the next row we have to write some other text and then next row we have to write some numbers. So how we will do this? You can see this cell is spanning an area of equal to four rows and this cell is also spanning the same area and these four cells also spanning the same area. Now how we will create all of these things? First of all we will write subjects here. We can also resize the columns by dragging the columns borders here. Now we will write subjects. Now we will write the names of the subjects English, Urdu, Physics, etc. English. And beneath, uh, on the bottom of this English, we have to write maximum marks and maximum lectures. We have to write some numbers under this text. <coughs> now you can see here that English is covering an area of uh, equal to two columns. Now we will select these two cells and from the toolbar we will it. we will click on merge and center you can see that english is now covering an area of equal to two cells similarly we can write the name of the next subject put to in the same text maximum marks and maximum 
lectures and the corresponding numbers below this text again we will select these two cells and click on merge and center option same data I am copying this text here by selecting this and right click copy click to this cell and then right click and paste uh, we need uh, six subjects so we have uh, type data of four subjects now we'll paste it two more times <coughs> chemistry bio and park studies we will write the names of these subjects chemistry by leaving a cell uh, blank because we will have to merge this cell with this chemistry cell park studies now we will merge these cells as we did before and we also have to write these numbers I'm copying this data from here click copy and then click here and click paste uh, one thing you have seen here that Excel have copied not only the data but also the format uh, of these cells but we want only to copy the cells data we don't want to copy the formatting so I am undoing this action I will show you how to copy the data only this is uh, still copied we will go to this cell and then right click paste and uh, click paste and then click on this uh, you can see value and number formatting and this option is just values we will select this option values there are some other options here uh, about paste special we will see all of these options in some later tutorial but now we are clicking on just number values so now we have got the data one more thing subjects is covering out of uh, these columns so we will select all of these cells and then click merge and center also you can see here that all of these numbers are centrally aligned they are centered in the cell so we will select all of these cells and then click center align a couple of times and then click this cell middle align similarly we can select these cells you can see here that student name cell is covering the area of four rows we will select these four rows and the and apply the same option but you can see student name is displaying on the bottom of the cell we can change this middle alignment by here Similarly, click on row number and click merge and center, and then also click middle align. Now we have to write some other uh, output information. I am copying this information from here, copy, and then come here, paste just values. Excel has, Excel has pasted these values. You can click uh, double click on the column border to auto adjust the width of these columns similarly you can uh, you can see here that total marks is uh, displayed on two lines while here it is displayed on one line first of all you have uh, you have to merge these cells all of these cells
and also you have to set the alignment and now if you want that total marks should be displayed in this way in two lines then click on this you have seen that it is already displayed in two lines I'm just clicking and then entering this data because I have already written in two lines but when copying and pasting it is shown on one line by default and we have to edit these cells one time to display in two lines format <coughs> Now we can adjust the widths of these cells. In spite of doing this manually, we can set the width of these columns uh, by right clicking, by selecting this column and then right click, select column width and see the width, it is 9. Select all the other columns and then again right click and then select column width and type the same width now all the, all these cells have the same width we have seen that we have created the sheet we have uh, used merge and center option uh, we have also uh, we have to select this heading <coughs> and then click merge and center also this heading merge and center we have now created the uh, layout of the sheet but still we have to apply some formatting like colors and borders you can see that some of us have a border around itself so how you will do this you will select the summer test and can see that here in font group it has one option bottom border click on this borders option and then select this thick box border you can see now this cell has a thick box border immediately select all of these cells some cells apply the borders of these cells again uh, first of all select the range and then go to the borders option and click now this time click all borders you can see we have applied the borders same like this sheet still we have left one option and that is color background color so this is also very easy select the range and then select your suitable color which you want to apply I have selected this also there is one option that uh, all of the data is in bold format so select bold option from here and uh, this if you can see this text uh, in sheet 1 is uh, font size 20 and this text is font size 14 apply the same formatting here 20 bold 14 bold so now if you compare these sheets it's quite similar sheets there is some uh, difference uh, which is related to the page layout settings or some column widths I think you can see that this column right click on this column and select column width this is 24 while on this sheet 4 this is slightly different this is 13 so we are typing the same width uh, similarly this cell in sheet 1 is 8.43 I think this is similar 8.43 is the default column width and uh, the rest of the difference are differences are just of the columns 
not or any other differences formatting differences that is the end of this tutorial if you learned something new by watching this tutorial please like and share it if you want to get notified about new tutorials of this series please subscribe to our channel if you have any question please write it in the comment section thank you